So I finished the A Better for Worst by Erin La Rosa. I think I've said said it right. I don't I don't know. Um and then I started the second book. Plot twist. I finished it today. And I both listened to the audio version and read it the copy of it. It was so good. This is a five stars for me. It was so good. Some parts I wanted to cry and I'm all red. I I don't know, my emotion is all over the place. But it was so good. It was so good. It was a lot of emotions and I love her writing and I don't know, like listening to the audio version, like I really love that and reading it at the same time. Look at the cover, it's so cute. There's a lot of things happen. There's so many cute moments. And the mother in this one, whoo, hate her, hate her so much. So, yeah. I'm kind of sad that this one is over now. <laughs> because what am I going to do now? Like, I have all the books I can read. There is... It's not this book right now. I just... I, I don't know. I gotta... I gotta... Pro process what I've read. Because... I don't know. And also I have to go to work tomorrow. I just want to be home and... Read more. I love this one. It was so good. I highly recommend it reading this if you haven't it's so good now i'm gonna go and process my th thought about this book love her writing love the floppiness of the book it was amazing a page turner for sure and love the romance and also she's an author working on her second book we love we love 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 and I think it was that she's pansexual, love, representing that, and it was so good. I loved it, I loved it, and I look like a potato and an egg, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go and think about this book for the rest of the day. But yeah, it's so quiet here now after reading. My head is quiet. I don't know.